Patrick Paul here. As soon as I uploaded the last video on upgrading the the DC to DC power supply for the um, charger board I've got, uh, a whole bunch of people said, "No, never mount a heatsink onto plastic," which is very sensible advice. My gut feeling was that I could probably get away with that because this is rated at 40 amps and the worst I've ever seen this um, drain at is about 15 amps so I thought oh, it'll probably be okay there's probably enough metal on the top side that I could probably get away with it but so many people commented on um, how bad uh, an idea that was that I thought I should probably test it with my thermometer to see what's really going on. Uh, so what I've got is a bunch of cells in here charging. This is telling me that the working charger boards, I blew that a few moments ago and blew these ones um, last week and they are currently drawing 5.9 amps. So it's 5 volts, 5.9 amps. And this is telling me how many watts the whole system is taking, including the DC to DC converter, which is 31 watts. So let's have a look at some temperatures. The ambient temperature this morning here in sunny Wellington is... Let's... Down here is... 24, I've got up to 24, the top of this thing is currently 28, and I've been running this for about 5 minutes to let it warm up, and if we have a look inside, inside we are getting up to 29, so that's still quite reasonable, it's barely noticeable to the touch. Um, everything else is in the same kind of ballpark. Now earlier on I pulled the circuit board out to see where the big MOSFETs were because usually in these boost buck converted designs the MOSFET chips are the things that generate the most heat. And they t it turns out that there are six surface mount um, MOSFETs right along here and under here. And then there's a big group of heat transfer compound which thermally connects the MOSFETs to the base of this metal housing. And in the ideal world this metal housing would then be attached to a nice big chunk of steel or aluminium which could dissipate the heat quite happily. My gut said that I would get away with not having it on a nice big heat sink because there's lots of metal around here for it to spread the heat. There's metal on the top, there's lots of air vents so there's airflow. When I'm using it I'll have um, it open like this so there'll be plenty of passive airflow. Uh, that was my, what my gut feeling was, but so many commenters said, oh, don't do that, because this is such a good thermal insulator that that bottom plate won't be dissipating heat out the bottom. At the moment, ambient is about 24, and the worst spot is about 29 on here. And I'm running 16 um, charges, and it's currently running at 6.4 amps on the 5 volt side. Um, so I'm I'm still thinking that I don't really need to do anything. If it was looking a bit hotter, I might consider cutting a hole in the in the plastic underneath um, to let more heat dissipate.
But at the moment, I don't think it's necessary. So although never mount a heat sink on plastic is a very good rule of thumb, if your heat sink is actually not getting very hot, then it may be that you can get away with it. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I'm going to leave this to run for another hour, come back and see what has happened. The worst case scenario would be that this got really, really hot on the bottom and started to melt the plastic, because this is probably, possibly PLA, which is what I use in my 3D printer, which starts to melt at around 170 degrees Celsius. Um, but I can imagine that if this got reasonably hot, warm, then maybe this would start to deform, perhaps, which would be ugly. Um, so I'm going to run it for an hour and see what happens. The time right now is 20 minutes past 10. I'll come back in a bit and let you know. OK, here we are one hour later and the current being drawn by the TP4056's 7 amps which um, 7 amps times 5 volts means 35 watts the buck, the, what is it, buck, yes buck DC to DC converter is running at 36 watts so it's using 1 watt to do the um, drop down conversion the temperature ambient is now showing 28 um, and down here it's up to 33 and that chip there is 34 that one's 35 yep so that is all 29 that's all fine I can't feel any um, warmth at all under here so if there is any um, decent heat on the bottom of this plate it's not getting through uh, which means it's not going to melt this plastic at all um, 33 degrees is not 34 it's not very hot so my gut feeling that this was rated high enough that this load would not be a problem um, is turning out to be true so although the general rule that you should never mount a heat sink on plastic is a very good rule uh, I'm going to say that in this situation it doesn't matter and so I'm going to leave it like that, much to the annoyance of some of my commenters, <laughs> and, and carry on. The thing that I like about this is the whole thing is self-contained. I can fold it away and shove it away in a drawer. Previously, if it's kind of flapping about, then it, it raises more problems with keeping everything um, safe and secure and avoiding shorting out bits and pieces and so on. So I'm going to say it's still fine. Hope that has been mildly interesting to you. Nothing has changed, except that now I know that it's not overheating. Um, which is good. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers. We'll be able to watch the current drain. My chicken has just laid an egg. Um, wants the whole world to know. Um, but anyway.